Okay, I have here an Aspire E1531. It's a Nacer. And currently running a Windows 8. What I'm trying to do is to convert this from Windows 8 to Windows 7. However, I have two problems to encounter. First one is how to boot up on the CD-ROM. Since no matter how you set it and uh, it don't have an option for boot up on CD-ROM. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. The second one is the partition style which is from GPT to MBR. So as you can see, I already put my DVD-ROM, my Windows 7 installer on the DVD. And uh, if I'm going to press F2 just to access the CMOS, the BIOS. And let's uh, change the boot order. Okay, let me there you go. That's the BIOS. And let's change the boot order like the CD-ROM must be first. Let's put this up. And let's exit, exit, and save. So normally, uh, we're going to expect that this, that the, it will boot on the DVD-ROM. But unfortunately, guys, uh, through the system, it won't. Okay, so you can see there that it boot up on directly to the system, to the hard disk drive, which is the Windows 8. And to solve this problem regarding boot up, uh, we're going to turn this off. Okay, here's how we're going to solve the problem regarding the boot up. Let's turn on the power and press F2 to access the BIOS. See, you could see I'm pressing the F2 to access the BIOS. Now we are in the CMOS. Okay, you could see we're in the CMOS. Let's go to the boot section, which is this one. So, uh, earlier we just changed the boot priority order. But uh, to solve the boot up problem, we have to change from boot mode of UEFI. Let's click enter. And we change it to legacy. Press down. Click enter again. It says the available boot device will not change until it's reboot. Let's press OK. As you can see, the boot mode is changed to legacy BIOS. So let's go exit and exit saving changes. Of course, we already have, I already have my, my Windows 7 in it. So I'll exit this one and save configurations. So from here, we expect it to boot up on the DVD-ROM. Let's see, there you go. As you can see, it already boot up on the DVD-ROM. See, it's Windows is loading files. So there, we're now in the Windows 7 installing. Let's click next, then install, and let's click accept, and next, then custom advance. So here, uh, we're t we want to install it in the partition 4. It's also primary, but as you can see, it says here that Windows cannot be installed to disk zero partition four. When, I, when we click details, it says here that Windows cannot be installed to the disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. So uh, here we're going to convert from GPT partition style to MBR. Oh. That goes to the other partition, disk five, still the same. This is a GPT partition style problem. It says we have to customer grade there. You have to dive options. Delete. Delete this one. Let's delete this one. 
so we're deleting like all of it delete there you go and this one delete then new let's click apply there you go let's format this this too there oh now it's installing funny okay let's wait I'm gonna pause this one